Peter Grester is heading home after 400 days in an Egyptian jail. Australian journalist Peter Grester has been released unconditionally from jail in Cairo and he has departed from Egypt. I spoke to Peter Grester shortly after his release and before he departed Egypt. He was immensely relieved and he was desperate to come home to Australia. The Australian government understands there are no conditions attached to his release. Since he and his colleagues were arrested, Peter's parents have been travelling between Cairo and Australia trying to get him released. Now, for them at least, the waiting is nearly over. Peter is in Cyprus, being debriefed by Australian diplomats. His next stop is Australia. We are immensely relieved, immensely relieved that Peter's out of detention, that Peter is currently on his way with his brother home to be reunited with his family. And I'd like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to Peter and to his family and to, and to our other colleagues and their families for the strength and the re resilience that they've demonstrated for this extraordinary amount of time against this extraordinary injustice that was meted out to them. But in a way, we cannot rest until the injustice is brought to an end. But we are immensely relieved today. The future of his colleagues, Bahar Mohammed and Mohammed Fahmi, is still uncertain. No one expected them to be in prison for this long. I believe there is a misunderstanding and it needs to be corrected. So I'm still hopeful and still fighting uh, with Mohammed for his freedom. The arrests of Peter Grester, Mohammed Fahmi and Egyptian Bahar Mohammed on December 29, 2013 were initially assumed to be short-lived, a mistake over media accreditation. But as time passed, it became clear the Egyptian authorities under the new government of General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi had other plans. Those who knew Grester, a veteran correspondent and Africa specialist, but with little experience of Egypt, could make little sense of the charge that he was somehow linked to what the government described as terrorists. The same could be said of his colleagues. By mid-January, much of the international media was demanding their release. The hashtag Free AJ Staff went viral. Respected journalists said that the treatment of Al Jazeera's employees was a threat to the entire journalistic community reporting from Egypt. The trial failed to produce any credible evidence against the three. There was footage found on their laptops, including a video of sheep herding, some of Grester's work in Kenya, and news clips from a different channel entirely. Adjournment after adjournment followed. Then in June, the men were convicted and jailed the lowest point of a desperate year for all involved. World leaders, including President Obama, denounced the court ruling, but the Egyptian government stood behind it, arguing it had not been a political decision and it was up to the appeals process to determine what should happen next. In November, hopes were raised with the passing of a new law allowing President Sisi to intervene to deport foreign nationals. On January 1st, Egypt's highest court threw out the convictions and ordered a retrial. After 400 days, Peter Grester is now free. But for Bahar Mohammed and Mohammed Fahmi, the ordeal continues. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.